And I think we are recording. Oh my goodness. My hair is disastrous. <laughs> I was in the pool. And okay, so I'm supposed to be doing a year of vlogs and I've been so horrible at it. Um, and realizing my life is very boring. <laughs> like, very boring. But uh, yesterday, I went to the Halifax Shopping Center. I went to West Sephora, and one of the reasons I went there was because um, it was my birthday last month in July, the end of July, and I wanted to get there in enough time to get my, um, my little birthday gift, which my birthday gift was happy birthday, one year bolder, was this NARS... Um, what is it? Uh, lip pencil. Yeah, lip pencil thing. Uh, matte, which is good because I'm more of a matte um, matte color person. I don't like a whole lot of glossiness on my lips unless it's like legitimate just gloss. I don't like sheery color and this is a horrible angle. Oh my gosh, sitting on my bed making this video. And the lighting is horrible. Um, so it comes with two different colors, um, Cruella, which is the red one, which I actually wore today a little bit. I was like, oh, I'm just going to try it. So like red lips. And then this Rikujin. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that name. It's pretty much just my actual lip color. This one's kind of shimmery, which, mm, mm, but it's not horrible. And so, so that was fun. It was my little birthday gift, but I bought quite a few things. Um, first thing I picked up was the puff off thing from Benefit, and it's not exactly what I thought it was. Um, I thought it was going to help get rid of like dark circles but it's more for puffiness under the eyes which I don't have I just have dark circles under my eyes I'm pretty tan right now so it's not as easy to see but it worked okay I guess like it did like I don't know feels nice feels nice and cool but what you do is and so that was the first thing I picked up and then I was like, hmm, I need some waterproof eyeliner because the stuff that I have is either like gone, not waterproof, or just super old. So I went and I got two. I got uh, Urban Decay 24 7 Glide on Pencil, which I haven't even opened up yet. And I got it in the color Electric because I love blue eyeliner. I don't know. I think it looks good with my, my hazel brown green eyes. Um, so, got this and it just it glides on just like friggin' butter. And then I got this one which I will be returning because I did not realize when I picked it up that it was liquid liner and I absolutely suck at li liquid liner. I'm so much more of a um, pencil liner kind of girl. Me and liquid liner are not besties, and I can't even get this one out. But the color is in perversion, and so yeah, that one will be going back to the store because I am not I'm not a liquid liner kind of girl. Um, so yeah, that. And then I walked over towards the skincare area. And my skin has been doing all kinds of crazy things, and I'm trying to find something that will help my skin. Um, I've got, like, I have eczema, and for most, I think, I, like, I pretty much have it completely under wraps, but sometimes it kind of flares up a little bit, so I have very dry skin. Um, but at the same time, I've been having, like, 
breakouts all over my face so like this acne kind of stuff coming like happening and I never really had that when I was a teenager I would get like one spot here or there but I've got like full-on like breakage uh, breakouts so I got this little sample thing of Clinique's um, different mix and match mask minis so I can try and sample them so I don't have to like commit to a full full-size mask um, I don't want to listen to whatever this is playing. Listen to some classified. Um, so yeah, this one has the turnaround, which revitalizing instant facial mask. Uh, the moisture surge overnight mask with hydration. Um, even better, which is a brightening moisture mask. And then this one, which is probably the one I'm most interested in trying, which is the Pore Refining Solution, and it's a charcoal mask. So um, I'm looking to like, pick up Rose from Bumble and Bumble Mending Mask, and this is for the truly damaged hair, which I have. I try to take really good care of my hair. And then last year, uh, last summer, I chopped my hair, like, all off. My hair was pretty, really, like, pretty long, like, down to, like, here-ish. And I chopped it all off, and it was probably, like, it was really short, like, really short. And it was so human last year, my hair got so frizzy-looking because I'm actually curly hair. So we're hoping that this is going to kind of help my hair that I have damaged and it smells okay. It doesn't smell like the greatest thing in the world, but it's not horrible. So we'll see if it works. This was not, I wasn't expecting to buy this. I was kind of, some of the other things I was like, oh yeah, that's really what I was going to get. But this I wasn't expecting to buy. So hopefully this actually does what I want it to. Um, next thing I picked up was some perfume, which I sprayed in my eyeballs earlier today. Ouch. Um, I got Le You de Voyage, um, Sud Pacific Paris in Vanilla Coco, because I absolutely love the smell of anything like coconutty. The box even smells good. And vanilla together with coconut is just like the best smell in the world. And this, I literally just want to smell it all day. Mm, it smells so good. Um, they have a vanilla extreme one that I might get next because um, coconut is kind of like a summery scent. Oh, it smells so good. I smell so good now. So pick this and one. It smells absolutely amazing. I love this and I'm wishing I'd found this much much earlier. Oh my gosh I smell so good now. Uh, last thing, oh no I have one more, well I have a free sample. So last thing I picked up um, was the Pure Vanilla Healthy Deodorant Solid Stick and I haven't even like opened up the packaging yet. I have been looking everywhere for some uh, deodorant alternatives that are more natural. <laughs> Um, trying to get away from things with like aluminum in it and that sort of stuff. It smells okay. It smells kind of like powdery. 
It smells more powdery than vanilla y. It's, yeah, supposed to be good for you. Just got like the little sample pack just to kind of give it a try. And it's from La Vanilla Laboratories. So we're going to see how I like this. Yeah, it smells much more powdery than it does vanilla y, which is kind of sad. Because um, those are my, my two cents are coconut and vanilla. So I got that. And then the last thing was just like a little sample. So that's everything that I got at Sephora. And then I have to return that eyeliner because I am not a liquid eyeliner person. It's just a no-go. Um, so then the next place I went to was Bath and Body Works. And I was really sad because, like, yeah, school years coming up and all that stuff that comes with it, so fall stuff, but still, they didn't have, like, any of their summer stuff left out. Um, so, the things that I was going there looking for were not there, so I might have to go onto the website and uh, place an order. And there's two things that are actually not even here. I have to go grab them. Hold on one second. And I am back. Alright. Grab my ECL hat. Kind of control my hair a little bit. Alright, so um, the next place that I went to, like I said, is Bath and Body Works. Stuff that I wanted was not there. Have to see if it's still available on the website. Um, if not, then I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll show you what I did get. So the first thing that I wanted to get was one of these little hand sanitizer things with the little holdy thing. <laughs> and uh, I'm thankful that they did have this summery stuff kind of left. They had the fall stuff too. But this one, there's a whole thing you can press and then it flashes, which is pretty nifty. So let's stop flashing. So I got this in, and you could get, like, there was, like, a steal for you if you got three of them. So I got two of the cool coconut colada, and then I got one of the Honolulu Sun. So, like I said, coconut is my scent. They call me Coconut Kate. My family calls me Coconut Kate. And, oh, it smells so good. And the Honolulu Sun, I haven't opened this one yet, but they had an open one there yesterday that I smelt. It smelled so good. Honolulu Sun. Oh, smells very coconutty too. Little dog. <laughs> when you get too close to your nose, and all you smell, it's like alcohol. Yeah, it smells more, um, more like just straight up coconut. And summer, like, there's like a, I forget what the name of the sunscreen is, but the sunscreen that just smells like coconutty, that's what that smells like, the Honolulu sun. So I actually kind of wish I got more of that one. And the cool coconut colada smells. <coughs> we had too much alcohol smell when I first inhale. Like a milder coconutty smell. Yeah, it's like not as strong a coconutty smell. So, my smells like like clean coconut, if that makes any sense. Like coconut soap. Yeah. So, I got the next thing that I was looking for was um, the portable scents, and what I was really wanting was the vanilla coconut one that they have there because oh my gosh smells so amazing um but like i said they really didn't have a lot of their summary stuff left so uh i smelt them all like 50 million times and i the one that i was like okay this one i can kind of get away with for the rest of the summer is the beautiful day one um so i have one in my eye my car already and um it smells <sighs> it smells good but it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like me, and I don't even like what does the. Let's find out what the beautiful overview. Oh, there we go. That's gotta tell me what it smells like. Okay, so beautiful day. 
smells like sun-kissed apples, which, yes, it very much smells like sun-kissed apples, wild daisies, and pink peonies, which invoke the beauty of a spring day. So that's what that smells like. So it's kind of, it's kind of summery, I guess. Two of the pumpkin cupcake, because when it does become fall, this is my favorite um, of the fall scents that they have, the pumpkin cupcake. Can you tell I like, like, sweet smelling things? <laughs> So I got two of the pumpkin cupcakes. Okay, treat yourself to a freshly baked pumpkin cupcake covered in rich buttercream frosting. So that's what this one supposedly smells like. And I've had this like in the past and yes, it smells pretty good. So those, I got those. And then I picked up some more um, wallflower scenty things. So I got two of the lavender and vanilla ones and usually I'm not a lavender scent fan but the lavender smell is very very light. What does it say? A refreshing blend of crisp cleansing lavender and creamy vanilla highlighted with a delicate jasmine cedarwood and a touch of citrus. So maybe that's why because it's not just like straight up lavender but I'm also really not a fan of jasmine so I don't know why I like this one and cedarwood I'm not usually a fan of cedarwood but the vanilla and the citrus that sounds like those are my scents that I like but anyway this one was nice and fresh and kind of I can't smell anything in the package so I got two of the lavender vanilla and I always figure like if I kind of put it in and I don't like it I can always give them to my mom. My mom loves the scent, like lavender scented things. So I can always do that. And then um, I also got the pumpkin cupcake because I figure as it does get close to fall, this is a scent that I know I like and it's not like overwhelmingly fall-ish. Like it's got that pumpkin smell, um, but it's not like crazy fall-ish. It's just, yeah. So those are the things that I got from Bath and Body Works. The next place I went to was Victoria's Secret. Whoa. And I've never, like, I think I've purchased maybe one thing from Victoria's Secret in the past of my whole 29 years. And it's because, like, I'm trusty. And for the longest time, Victoria's Secret didn't really carry a whole lot of stuff. This hat's kind of, like, not working. Um, so, but I heard some pretty amazing things about their sports bras, and some of my sports bras oh, need to go. So, I got two. I wanted to get three, but when they, she rang them all up, I was like, okay, no, I cannot justify spending that much money right now. I have bill payments I have to do. So, I ended up only getting two, and the two that I got, I got... You're like, yeah, you've got some friggin' big boobs. I got the... What is the name of it? The Ultimate Sports Bra, which has, like, underwiring, but it's, like, gel underwiring, so there's, like, some movement and give to it. Um, um, so, yeah, it's a, a maximum support bra. Spandex wiring smooths your back and sides. Concealed flexible underwire for cushion support. Wear it classic or cross back with adjustable straps that attach in the front. In the front, people. Like, you can take... Ooh, how did I see her do it like, yesterday? Oh, there we go. So, like, the front, where the cup is, they attach in the front. How amazing is that? Because so often, they have the back being where you can, like, cross them over from. So I can go from, like, regular. I'm, like, throwing this bra around from like the regular front to back strap or you can take it off like this and then cross them behind you like when you have the bra on but then when you go to attach it they're in front of you and now it's like how oh, did I do this there we go just got it last night haven't really played with it yet and then it becomes like a racerback which is fantastic because in the spring and summer all I wear is like tank tops because it's too freaking hot uh, and I sweat I'm a sweater <laughs> 
So yeah, I got this one, which is the ultimate, and uh, yeah, I don't need to tell you what size I got it in. I got it in one of the biggest sizes they have, let's just say that. And then the other one that I got is so pretty. Um, it is called the Knockout, and it's a front closure bra, which, that's awesome. We like that. And it's kind of like what the girls told me is that it's two bras in one. And as some of you busty ladies will attest to, um, I have worn like upwards of three bras at one time when I was playing like rugby. Um, basketball, rugby, basketball, um, some track and field stuff, teaching my classes. <laughs> like, yeah, three bras. Three bras in one. Not that huge of a stretch. It's really cool. You unzip the front, which has a little protection there so you don't like get any zipperness like right on your body and then the cups you just like attach them like how you adjusted the other one and then it keeps you know so it kind of keeps you lifted and in at the same time so that was that was pretty exciting and this one is so this one's the knockout and it's uh, maximum support it's a bra within a bra locking locking zipper front closure super soft elastic band for comfort and movement breathable padding with wicking lining to keep you extra dry uh, concealed wire for cushion support adjustable padded straps body wick keeps you cool and dry so those are the two bras that I got from Victoria's Secret they had another one like I said that I wanted to get but just could not justify spending that much money at one time at one store so I just thought like in the past, I have also, like, past weekends, I've also purchased a few things. Two things, oh, kind of excited for. Um, me and a, a fitness friend of mine, we ordered these, and then we found them, or she found them, in um, the local, like, drugstore where she works. So, it was kind of disappointing because she was, like, there for half the price that we paid for them. Um, but they are the Icy Cool Towels. And uh, basically what they are, I will open this one because I think I used this one earlier so it might still be wet. Yes, it is. So what you do is you wet it, wring it, and then wear it. And it's an instant cooling towel with no refrigeration needed. Um, and it lasts up to four hours and it is reusable. So this one is still, still wet. And what you do is when you... That out. The website is www.uppercanadasoap.com. So yeah, really, really, really cool Canadian product. Um, crossing my legs, moving my stuff on my bed. Um, so then, what else did I do? Okay, so on this past weekend, it was Busker Fest in Halifax, and um, one of my favorite local clothing companies was there with their little pop-up store. And I'm repping one of their shirts right now. East Coast Lifestyle. Um, but you? I got two tops, one tank top, the green tank top that I'm wearing. Um, this t-shirt, which has just like a faded East Coast Lifestyle logo on it, established in Nova Scotia in 2013. So not even that long ago. And uh, so I got two tops. A hat, which uh, it's like up the beak flat because that's really cool. 
and East Coast Lifestyle written on the back of it. Well, it's much better when my hair is actually straighter than ever. But, so I got those two things, and then I also have plastic sitting on my bed. Also got three stickers because stickers are freaking awesome. Um, the first one is like a bumper sticker kind of one, East Coast Lifestyle, a little anchor symbol. The other one is a small round sticker, and I yeah, it's white background, so that could go like on my computer. And then the third one is a freaking huge one, like bigger than my head. Um, no idea what I'm going to do with it yet, but I wanted it. <laughs> so I got three stickers, and I still have my kettle corn popcorn. Ah, you see. Um, so yeah, that's everything, and hope you enjoyed. I will try to post more videos. We'll see how it goes. And now I get to prepare for my Paloxing class tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> see you next time.